While COVID case numbers have plateaued in much of Taiwan, they are even declining in the north. However, COVID-related deaths are still high, causing concern for some doctors. They say that diagnoses or treatment may be taking place too late, while they also question whether the delivery of medication and services to those who are most vulnerable is sufficiently timely. Let's hear from the experts. Despite a decline in local COVID case numbers, the number of deaths from the disease remains high. Taiwan's COVID death toll has doubled in just 13 days, whereas using similar metrics, it took New Zealand 48 days and South Korea and Hong Kong 80. Even more worrying, Taiwan's COVID death toll is now second highest in the world. In 46 percent of all fatalities, the patient died within three days of contracting the disease. Doctors say the situation is cause for concern. The time between testing positive and death is quite short. This means they might be getting diagnosed too late or that after the diagnosis they are not able to get to medicine quick enough. In terms of hospital treatments, is there some aspect of that process that we need to re-examine? When hospital staff treat patients, they normally avoid contact as much as possible. However, in that situation, you need to very carefully monitor the patient's condition. As of May 26, there were roughly 800 COVID deaths this year in Taiwan, a rate of 5.25 per 10,000 cases. Two days later, the number rose above 1,000, and every four days after that marked roughly 500 more deaths. As of June 9, Taiwan had recorded 2,700 COVID deaths for the year, a rate of 10.56 per 10,000 cases. That number has already exceeded the 10 per 10,000 rate that Health Minister Chen Shih-chung set as an amber light. Physicians believe contributing factors include the speed of diagnosis and drug administration, coupled with the number of comorbidities among confirmed patients and a possible lack of awareness of their infections. The epidemic has spread from the north to central and southern parts of the country, and that impacts where the patients can get their prescriptions. In areas of central and southern Taiwan, there may be some administrative difficulties. Old people may be at home with nobody to care for them. And so there is nobody to go pick up medication on their behalf. If things like prescription pickups by proxy and video call consultations with doctors aren't available to everyone, then we are going to see an increase in the mortality rate. Omicron is spreading rapidly and new variants of the virus may be waiting to come through the border. In the UK, the BA5 subvariant is spreading at 10 times the rate of previous subvariants. From the first subvariant of Omicron, BA1, up to this latest generation, BA5, the virus has been developing in a way that's becoming more transmissible. With new subvariants of Omicron emerging, doctors are worried COVID will continue to spread quickly, which will have the greatest impact on those who are already ill or vulnerable. One doctor says care and medication distribution systems must become more equitable to prevent the death toll from growing.